Today on Wild Florida, we're gonna talk about the miracle fruit, the miracle berry, and how it can benefit chemo patients. <laughs> I'm Jacqueline, the Wild Floridian, and welcome to week 20 of the Growing Food is Easy Challenge. The challenge where we save money, go local, and save the world one piece of food at a time. If this is your first time joining us and you want to start from the beginning, go ahead and click on this card right here, or you can wait till the end and a card will appear in one of these four corners. Okay, let's get into it. Let's talk about the Miracle Fruit, also known as the Miracle Berry, and how it can help chemo patients. So I'm kind of changing what I was originally planning to do today. Um, and that's really because I got some news from my best friend who was diagnosed with stage three breast cancer. Um, and this was a genetic cancer that kind of uh, took her by surprise, took us all by surprise. And the reason is, is because, um, well, it's a genetic cancer, which means she got it from, you know, her DNA from her family, but she's adopted. So she doesn't really know what her medical history is. So she's starting chemo this week and um, yeah, and as we were talking, I remember hearing about, like I was watching a tropical fruit tour of, of some gardener and they mentioned this fact that Miracle Berry, they grew some of it for chemo patients. So um, because my best friend has cancer, I wanted to try to figure out and learn a little bit more. So I don't know a ton about it. I'm gonna share with you guys what I've learned so far um, and then that way you know. Okay, let's go. Okay, so here's the facts that I know so far. So it's usually known as the Miracle Fruit or Miracle Berry. It's basically the same thing. Um, it comes from Africa, West Africa, South Africa, which for us Floridians, that's great because we can actually grow it here in our home state. Uh, probably not if you get up into zone eight, but for the zone nine, 10 and 11, you should be good to go. This plant, unlike a lot of fruit trees, actually will grow pretty well in semi-shade. So that's kind of cool. Um, the fruits are berries that are about like an inch long, half an inch long. They're not very big and they're red. And what's cool about this plant is that it's not the fact that like the berries taste really good because apparently they just taste like meh, they're okay. But what's cool is there's a thing called Miraculin, M-I-R-A-C-U-L-I-N, that basically is a chemical component that's part of the fruit that basically it changes the way you taste things. So like, let's say you get like the sourest lemon that you've ever, ever, ever had. And then you eat it and you're like, whoa, so sour, so tart, so bitter, right? And then you eat a little miracle berry. And then you wait a couple minutes, you chew, 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 chew. And then that miracle <laughs> gets on your tongue. And then you go and have that lemon, it's gonna taste sweet, which is crazy, right? Which is why it's called the miracle fruit or the miracle berry. And so that's really cool. And apparently like the more sour, bitter a thing is, the sweeter it tastes after you have it. So that's how it got discovered by, um, well, the African people, but then like later European saw us because they would see the African people like eating these super sour, tart and bitter things. And then like later, like they're just like eating them up and they're like, how are they doing that? But then they noticed they were chewing these berries right beforehand. So that's kind of neat, right? So yeah. So what does that have to do with cancer patients? Well, here's the thing. So when you go through chemotherapy, um, about 50% of the patients say that they basically get like a very metallic taste in their mouth after chemo. And that's really problematic, right? Like chemo is a chemical that's going into your, your body and it's trying to kill those cancer cells. But the thing is, is that like that metallic taste and it's gonna cause you to lose your appetite. And if you're losing your appetite, like we've talked about like getting nutrition into our plants, well like we need nutrition too. And if you're not eating, then you're not getting the things that your body needs to rebuild itself as it's going through like this really, really hard process. Um, so yeah, so it's really important that they eat. And they're even saying that like, even if they just try to drink water, that that's really hard to do too. So people will try to drink things like ginger ale or some things that have some flavor to it just to make it palatable. But then, then they get that metallic taste. So they just kind of don't want to eat and they don't want to drink. And those are two really bad things. Cause just like our plants, we need water and food. Um, yeah, like we all need water and food, right? So how does the miracle berry play in? Well, so there's been a lot of, um, articles being written and there's even some studies being done where patients like even at Mount Sinai which is like really big into cancer research up in New York that they are doing a lot of research into like 
helping patients get the berry so that they can increase their appetite and like there's a lot of cancer patients who've talked about the fact that like they get to eat the miracle berry and like that really helps with their appetite so that they can keep going forward with their treatments and like maintain as much of their health as they can as they go through that difficult process so it's a really important plant um so because my best friend has it, I started looking into like, okay, well, what if I got a tree? Like, could I just like go plant one and then like send her the berries? Well, the issue is, is that like, um, it takes about three to four years for them to start producing fruit. So that's like way too long. <laughs> um, so I'm still gonna get one kind of more in honor of her than to actually help her right now. I'm gonna look into how I can get something for her like right now because she's starting chemo right now. <laughs> and so, yeah. Um, so I just wanted to highlight that. I, I don't know if this is going to kind of be rambling and short because I don't think I can redo the takes. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys because um, I thought it was important to get that information out to people. So whether you know someone with cancer or you know someone who maybe went through it and you want to honor them by growing it or you just want to like get a tree so that you can go and like help maybe someone in the future, that would be like a really, really great plant to go and get. Um, so yeah, and then one other thing and the other reason I wanted to do this is because, um, so she has her own channel, um, it's Shelby Redfield Kilgore, and she shares all about adoption, um, stories of adoptees, stories of families who've adopted, stories of women who have given away their children. She gives like a lot of perspective all about all the different faces and stories of adoption, whether they go well, they don't go well, and giving from adult children who were adopted to little kids who are adopted and it really gives a lot of great perspective and right now she's doing a whole series about you know her cancer treatment um how she discovered it her going through the process right now and um and then kind of her unique perspective as an adoptee so if you're interested go ahead and click on this card and i will do it again um, at the end of the video so you can go and check that out so i really consider if you want to go and help cancer patients or you want to honor someone in your family who maybe had it that this would be a great plant to add to your garden Okay, so we'll get back into our normal stuff next week. Um, we'll probably do companion planning. Yeah, because just like, you know, companions, like best friends, like me and my buddy Shelby. Um, so if you want to make sure you don't miss that, go ahead and like, subscribe, and ring that bell for notification. New videos each week on Tuesday and Friday, and sometimes a bonus one on Sunday. And to check out her series, go ahead and click this right here, or you can check out one of these other series, and YouTube thinks you like this one. All right, I'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.